Today's episode, The Great Train Slobbery. <laughs> Dumb shoots. Carmen San Diego's pack of pilfering predators has pounced again. This time, it happened in Siberia, the vast cold region in the Russian Republic. Built in segments over 25 years, the Trans-Siberian Railroad is the longest rail line on Earth. It stretches from Moscow in the west, across plains, deserts, rivers, and three different mountain ranges on its way east to Vladivostok on the Sea of Japan. That's over 5,000 miles of track, Jack. The railroad is the only route to the outside world for hundreds of remote towns in Siberia, or it was. Until Top Grunge, that belching booger-nosed brigand, rolled up the railroad and rode off with it. Gumshoots, it's up to you to get it back. Your mission, rescue the railroad, grab Grunge, and then capture Carmen San Diego. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Laron Hines. Amy Quigley. Sriram Gopalan. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, guys, how are you? Doing good? All right, listen, you've heard about the case. Now it's time for us to get started. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Top Grunge has stolen the Trans-Siberian Railroad, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the profile on Top Grunge. Top, Top, Top Grunge! He's got bum sinuses and bad, bad B.O. Oh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Ah, there. Hi there. These puzzles were named after architect Erno Rubik. He originally used them as a teaching aid for his students in three-dimensional design. Now, Top Grunge mailed this one to me from Rubik's hometown, Budapest, and I, I just can't seem to get... Oh, dag nabbit! Well, Chief, don't get upset. L let me try to show you. <laughs> okay, but you will never solve it. Anyway, the rail system in Rubik's country is called Georges Vanat. Now, Grunge was last seen barreling down the Georges Vanat tracks with his stolen Trans-Siberian train. There you go, Chief. I got it. See? Take a look. What? How did you do... Well, you had to relax your mind, free yourself of any outside uh, problems. Greg! Give that to me. Quit playing with toys. Get back to work. Yes, There's a smelly crook on the loose. Yes, ma'am. Thanks very much. Okay, gumshoes. Name the country, if you will, please. Is it Poland? Czechoslovakia or Hungary? Remember the clues that we heard? Home country of Erno Rubik and town of Budapest. Everybody's ready. Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Hungary. Hungary. What do you think, Amy? I chose Hungary. Uh, Hungary. What do you think, Spear M? I got Hungary. Hungary. The answer we're looking for is Hungary. Nice job. <laughs> okay, that's where to start that thing off, guys. Everybody goes from 50 to 60 crime bucks. And now that gives us a little extra time to find out about you guys. Laurent, tell me about yourself. Um, I'm 13, and I like to play basketball and baseball. Good. Nice to have you on the case. And Amy, how about you? I'm 13, and I love dancing, and I've been dancing since I was five years old, and I won Little Miss Lynn Hurst when I was five. Wonderful. Very nice. And Sri Ram, tell me about you. I'm 13, and I like playing all different sports. Wonderful. Listen, welcome them all to the case, if you would, please. Enjoy yourself, guys. Okay, you're off to a great start. Everybody got that first one right now. For our next clue, we have some news from our bovine, bovine informant. Watch. Oh, that filthy beast hid the train in one of the world's largest railroad tunnels. It's called the Simplon, and it goes through the Alps. He's holed up in a chalet in Lugano, and he's eaten rocklet. That's a divine dish made from my melted cheese with pickled onions and boiled potatoes. Oh, I'm working overtime to keep the supply up. Oh, my aching udders moo. Poor cow. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it France, Switzerland, or Italy? Remember the clues that we heard? Simplin rail tunnel through the Alps, chalet in Lugano, and eating raclette. Everybody's ready. Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? 
I chose Switzerland. Switzerland. What do you think, Amy? I chose Italy. Italy. Spiram, what do you think? Greg, I chose France. France. The answer we're looking for is Switzerland. Nice job, Laron. Okay, so Laron, you go up to 70. Amy, 60. And Spiram, you have 60. I'm not really expecting anybody. Let me uh, find out who's over here. Dang informant. Give me some time, will you? I'm a little behind. Just hold on one second. Hey, Josh, can you throw me a pillow real quick, please? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Ah! Oh. <sighs> okay, what happened, buddy? What's the matter? Tell me what happened. I was chasing grunge. I got caught in the crossfire of the internal fighting in Kinshasa. Oh, no. So you were shot? No, I was fine. But then there was a herd of charging hippos along the banks of the Zaire River. <laughs> oh, you mean you were trampled then? No, I got away. But then grunge tossed me into the Niragongo volcano. It's still active. Oh, so you were burned. <laughs> no, I wore my asbestos skivvies. Nice thinking. So, what's the matter then? When I knocked on your door, I got a splinter. <laughs> You know, the next time Norm Abram comes by, I'm going to have him take a look at that. Thanks a lot, guy. Listen, we got a case to go to, though. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Okay, gumshoes, if you will, please name the Central African nation. Is it Uganda, Rwanda, or Zaire? Remember the clues that we heard? Internal fighting in Kinshasa and hippos along the Zaire River. Everybody's ready? Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Zaire. Zaire. Amy, what do you think? I also chose Zaire. Zaire. Sphere Ron, what do you think? Greg, I chose Zaire. Zaire. Everyone said the same thing. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means, Laurent, you have 80, Amy, 70, and Sphere Ron, 70 crime rates. Nice job. Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means each one of these questions is about Top Grunge's most recent known whereabouts, which is Zaire. Again, every correct answer is worth five crime bucks. So, hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Is Zaire the world's largest producer of copper, industrial diamonds, or rubber? Sriram. Diamonds. Diamonds is right. Nice job. Five for you. Now, listen to this. Okay. This song is by a, a, a Zairean band leader named Sunny Akosans. Is this style of music called hip hop, polka, or high life? Uh, Laurent. High life. High life is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question three. Listen carefully now. The Pygmies, the Bedouins, or the uh, Belgians, who were the first to live in Zaire? Laurent. Pygmies. Pygmies are right. Nice job. Five for you. So that means at the end of the lightning round, Laurent, you moved up to 90 crime bucks, Amy 70, and Saram second place now is 75 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, Greg, come into my office. Okay, Chief, I'll be right there. You guys stay with her. I gotta go find out what's going on. Chief, whoa! Chief, what's happening today? Well, the office is being balanced today. Balanced? Mm. What do you mean, balanced? Well, as a building gets older, it, it settles, usually unevenly, and uh, every few years, the Acme Balancing Bureau, they come in and they rebalance my office. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, how close are you to nabbing Carmen? Well, that's a very good question, Chief. You know, she can be very elusive sometimes. Sometimes she's over here, and we think we've got her, and then we got to move back over this way, and she's right back. Are you feeling okay there, Chief? You look maybe sick. I get the point, Greg. I would hope so, Chief. You know, sometimes when I think of some of the capers she's pulled, yeah. it, it uh, turns my stomach, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, what do you think we ought to give the gumshoe that captures Carmen San Diego? You know, I've been thinking about this, and part of me says... Greg! Let's give the gumshoe who nabs Carmen San Diego a free trip to anywhere in North America. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Because that way, if she's over here, we're going to know she's right there. And then right before she moves, we'll be right over there. And Greg, Chief, you don't look so good. Greg, I'll feel a lot better when you go away. Chief, someday you're going to miss me. Hey guys, check it out. A little something that uh, Norm Abram left last time he was here. Just, uh, we're okay. Okay, Gumshoes, remember, we're still after Grunge and the train. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Grunge and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. <laughs> 